Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Rutherford, and today's question is, why does Hashimoto's cause depression? So, uh, first thing to address there is depression is multifactorial, and certainly Hashimoto's can be one of those factors. So multifactorial means there's a number of things that can cause depression. Chronic stress hormones can cause depression. Gut bacteria can eventually find their way to the brain and cause depression. Um, low blood sugar can contribute to depression, but Hashimoto's is a significant contributor to depression. And here's how it works. So Hashimoto's is, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an autoimmune problem first, and it's a thyroid problem second. So this is thyroid, here's your immune system, okay? Your immune system is attacking, um, this is massively simplistic, okay? So for those of you who really know a lot about Hashimoto's, just bear with me. So, okay, so this is the immune system that's attacking your thyroid. When it hits your thyroid, one of two things happen. It either damages, it just beats up the tissue and you get hypothyroid stuff, or it beats up the tissue and you intermittently get anxiety, panic attacks, heart palpitations, um, insomnia, uh, and, and, and night sweats and things, inward tremors, but also it contributes to depression. So the physiology of this is, I would say, threefold. And basically, um, when, you, when you get Hashimoto, when you get an immune attack on your thyroid, all right, which is, which is pretty much the definition of Hashimoto's, um, you can, you can, the energy that it takes for the thyroid to withstand the immune attack causes the thyroid to not create enough energy to, to move the things in your system the way it should be, like your blood. So if you have low, if, you're, if you have a Hashimoto's problem, there's a likelihood that you're not making enough thyroid hormone. Most Hashimoto's patients are hypothyroid, and that means you have low T3, and low T3 means you're not gonna be getting blood to your brain. So if you, so, if, so, so depression is, is, is poor frontal lobe function. And for the frontal lobe to function properly, it needs proper blood sugar, it needs proper oxygen, it needs a lack of inflammation, and needs proper essential fatty acids. Well, guess what? Hashimoto's will cause inflammation and it will cause a lack of oxygen to the brain because it'll cause you to not be able to get enough blood to your brain. If your threshold, so, so the way you get depression is, is there's this threshold, okay, of here's your nerve cells, and they're supposed to be able to operate within a normal range. Here's the threshold for when it, when, 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 when this stimulation is too much and it goes past here, anxiety, panic attacks, depression, okay? So the more you make these neurons sick by having no oxygen or having inflammation, the closer they get to what in the science is called threshold, the closer they get to here. And now it doesn't take much to set this off. First of all, the chemistry is all already bad because the, the nerve cells aren't getting the fuel that they need to operate right. And then when they get the threshold, now they can't operate. Now they really can't operate right. And that over a long period of time is depression. So Hashimoto's decreases blood supply to the brain and the attack on the Hashimoto's puts out a tremendous amount of T4 intermittently, which can cause the anxiety and the panic attack. But then once that's over, it, it causes the, um, it causes, in, it, it, it has caused during that period of time, inflammation to the, the neurons in the brain. Now, depending on other things as to how compromised you are, are you stressed, do you have low blood sugar, have you had brain trauma, all these types of things, where the threshold is, that's gonna exceed the threshold. And between those things, then that's gonna cause you to, that's gonna cause your brain to not be able to handle the type of stimulation that it's originally designed to handle. And when that starts happening, you start not making, you start not making dopamine, you start not making serotonin. These are neurotransmitters. All the neurotransmitters that you can, acetylcholine and GABA, all these, well not GABA, all, all of these, um, tend to affect brain function 
And once they're not being made properly because you're stressed, you have low blood sugar, you have Hashimoto's, you get depression. Depression is not, in my mind, a psychiatric disorder. It is a clinical disorder. And so Hashimoto's is in that ball of string of, of the chemistry that can, and if you have Hashimoto's, let me give you a, a perspective. I, it's, it, it's, it, it's chemistry when it goes wrong significantly contributes to not being able to make those neurotransmitters and significantly contributes to depression if it's there. So that's, that's the answer to the question for the day. Hope that was helpful.